Hey guys, Jason here. Hope you had a fantastic day. Checking in on gold. Gold had a strong day. We saw another big green candlestick after that doji of indecision. So clearly the bulls are still in charge here. RSI is getting a little hot. We're up in almost the 70s. Should be about 69, 69.88. So we definitely need to see some cooling off, uh, at least a resting period before bulls give another big push here. And it might look a lot like this doji that we had on the 28th. And let's go take a look at what that looked like on the hourly time frame to get an idea of what we might be in for. So this vertical bar represents the last time we talked about gold, so roughly yesterday around this time. And we had pointed out there was a couple of uh, key levels to watch for, 1304.41 and 1297.40. So this was a range that was established during that uh, hourly and daily consolidation that gave us that doji. So once we cross one of these levels to the upside or the downside, it tells us that the market is ready to move on. So we saw the price come up, just barely poked above uh, about 20, not even 20, 15 cents. So that's not a significant move. Still uh, has resistance in place. We saw multiple tests of this re resistance before we saw a major breakthrough. So we saw a bigger volume, we saw volume picking up, we got above this area of resistance, and we have been in a solid hourly uptrend since then so the first thing that we're going to notice for this trend to change is going to be a loss of this hourly uptrend and we might see that just form another sideways area like we saw over here on the 28th so what does this mean for bulls well it means bulls are in full control until they lose this hourly uptrend uh, there's no reason for them to slow down they can move very very cautiously sideways allowing the daily rsi to cool off and still giving them ample time to rest and get ready for another move up here on the four hour and daily chart, we can see that there's not really any resistance. In fact, we got to go to the daily chart to see what the next level might be. And that is up at 1325.92. So until we see a trend change on the hourly time frame, there's no reason to expect the bulls will slow down. There has to be some other shift, some other uh, geopolitical or economic thing. Perhaps the market has a really rough day. I boost this up. Maybe the market has an awesome day and we drop a little bit. We really don't know yet. We just react to what the trends are going to do. And right now, bulls are in full control of this hourly uptrend. If this is going to change, what it's going to look like is going to be a new lower low. It's going to be a lower high with a new resistance up at the top of one of these candlesticks here. And then we're going to start to see lower highs and lower lows being set, coming down, testing areas of support, to see if we're going to have more significant movement to the downside. Now, currently, it's all bulls all the way. We'll see how long they can hold this up, and we'll check back in tomorrow. Thanks a lot, guys.